throughout the last 40 years, he has done what we really talk about all the time here at Gladstone. We've got two missions at Gladstone. One is to do breakthrough discovery science that helps humankind. And the second is to train the next generation. And by all metrics, Warner has outperformed on both and has trained over 130 graduate students and postdocs across those decades. Everyone here knows Will Warner's more recent career, the middle and the later years, especially around HIV. One virus you didn't mention before HIV was HDLV1, the first retrovirus. And Warner did a lot with that, and I come to that in a moment. We would have loved to have kept you at the NIH, but you went on to a career in San Francisco, which has been nothing short of spectacular. And I am proud to say that we are friends and that you are a collaborator and a colleague. I have been just delighted to see the scientific excellence, succession planning, the commitment to Africa. Great family, great guy. I've never seen Warner where he didn't have a smile on his face. Are you ever cranky? I think I've probably known Warner longer than anyone here except family, maybe Bob Gallo ties me. Um, but this is Warner's first lab. That's me on the left. We look about the same, Warner, right? There is no one better than Warner to craft a great story. When the data is lined up, he, he really does this extraordinarily well. I still remember the poor postdocs in Warner's lab being terrified because, or apologizing because the, the, the Western blood had too little background or the, the bands were not straight. There was a, a, a demand of, of perfect execution. Another side of Warner is this idea and his commitment to what happened in Africa. And of everything that you have done when I was at, at the Gladstone, that was the thing that inspired me the most in terms of what kind of a person you are. So I join you in tribute to Warner and in praise of him thanking him for using his extraordinary leadership talent and his gift to help turn dark Mondays into brighter and radiant Tuesdays. And how many people, both in the U.S. and in Uganda and elsewhere, he has stood side by side with in the lab, in the clinic. For hmm. Warner, you are the legacy you have inspired me to be the legacy to continue to lean in to continue to see what's possible thanks to warner green lives were changed people made decisions for themselves and their families and their friends and said this is what i'm going to do so what you see what i what the three of us saw warner green do in africa he does right here at home Actually, my task today was to talk about Dr. Warner Green's contributions as an HIV virologist to COVID-19. And um, I started looking into it and I was amazed how much he's contributed to COVID-19. So I'm gonna go over some of those. Yeah, <laughs> that needs to be done. <laughs> Sometimes uh, the best scientists are not the best teachers. It's a rare thing for somebody who really knows his or her field really, really well to be able to translate that uh, in a way that, that everyone in the audience can understand. Uh, and Warner has been a, a, a really impressive person in that. The inspiration, the generosity, the, the commitment this takes inspired leadership, which Warner Green has. I know this is a fact because I've had the pleasure of watching him and the Institute over these years. He's a remarkable uh, scientist. Uh, he's a fantastic leader and, and an all around uh, good guy. My dogs, this is known as Dr. Warner C. Greeny. <laughs> anyway, thank you for giving me a front row seat on a very fascinating world. I did lose many friends to AIDS in the 80s and 90s, and so to contribute um, in some small way to this endeavor has meant a tremendous amount to me. Somehow he still believed in me, and he um, 
believed in me and I felt that cheerleading throughout my entire graduate career. It is said sometimes that uh, you may have many fathers in your life if you're lucky. I've had a few, but one of the best and most prominent and larger than life has been Warner Green. We're coming to the last point of the program today, um, which is to honor Michael Halton. Uh, I met Warner and uh, actually he uh, graciously received me and made a pitch. And I didn't want to say, look, I've already made out the check, here it is. But uh, <laughs> uh, that was the start of uh, a very fruitful collaboration. And uh, I look forward to continuing a happy uh, association with Melanie. Well, thank you all. As we said, uh, enormously grateful for your generosity. And as a little sign of this, oh. we would like to give you this um, Thank you. as a small token of our gratitude. It says the Michael Holton uh, in recognition of your extraordinary support of Gladstone's HIV research. Uh, I'm so thankful for the people that have been a part of my life, for my wife who has supported me. I've had great colleagues. I've had some colleagues that weren't that great too, but... <laughs> I can't emphasize enough what a unique institution Gladstone is. Uh, I've worked in the university, I've worked federal government laboratory, and there is no replacement for the type of environment that has been created here. I just want to thank all of you for uh, being a part of this day. I was just amazed and, and so thankful uh, for everyone who came and shared their thoughts. Thank you so much.